All right, in this quick video tutorial, we'll be talking about the importance of banner images and how to get one into your class. Now, banner images can be used not only on the home page, but in assi <coughs> assignments and other places as well. So let's take a quick look. So let's say that we have a class and let's say that we're working on a particular page. And we're going to call this assignment one. And so let's say that we're building our class. We either have an assignment already made or we're making one, right? So if I click on edit, I could come in here and I could put in an image. Now, the problem with just putting any old image into a class is that Canvas kind of presets the size for us, right? So if I wanted this to be an image in the class, Maybe I want it to be a lot narrower and span the top of the assignment page. So how do I do that? Well, you could do a couple of things. Um, the first, though, that I would suggest is to just do a Google search for images students and go under tools, so Google tools. And, well, first of all, let's be under images first. And then we'll go under tools, and we want to make sure and use an image that um, that we can, that's that we're permitted to use. So I'm just going to select labeled for reuse. <clears throat> and additionally, I want to select uh, an image that happens to be large in size, so that it can span the top of my assignment without getting all pixelated and distorted. All right. So. If I hover my, my cursor over this particular image, I'll see that it's 1,600 pixels wide. That's plenty wide for what I need. Um, to get a good image size to span the top of an assignment, you really only need about 800 to 1,000 pixels. So what we do is we want to navigate to the image. I'm going to right-click on the image, and I'm going to open the image in a new tab. Right, so all I have here is the image. Okay. So even the quality of this particular image may not suit um, your needs. You might want something that's a little better, but for this particular tutorial, it'll suffice. So um, we're going to clip an image. <clears throat> so you can open up uh, your clipping image uh, program on your computer and then you just say you know what and as you drag the cursor across you should see the size in the bottom corner of how big the clipping is so here I have about a thousand pixels and about a hundred and fifty or so pixels high right? so let's say that I want my banner image to be about like that so I clip that image and it is actually now on my desktop here it is so I have that screenshot on my desktop and what I want to do is put that see the difference between this kind of rectangular shaped <clears throat> almost square shaped image I'm just going to upload that particular image and I have it on my desktop and here it is if I click open I'm going to call this banner and now I have a nice banner image that goes along with my particular assignment and just for visualization purposes. I'm just going to grab some random text here and just put some text underneath it. So now when my students come to my assignment they've got a nice image to to see there with, in conjunction with that particular assignment. It's just a nice quick way to really dress up an assignment and make it look really professional. One last thing if you want to take 
your assignment page to the next level is if we click edit we can make this image change size based on the size of the screen that it's on. So if I click on the HTML editor and then come in here you'll notice that there's some information related to the image. What I can do I, is I can add I can say for this image I want the style of it, that image to equal quote, and open quote I'm going to put width colon 100 percent. What that means is, is that that image is always going to be 100 percent of the page size. So that little bit of code, that style code for the image, let's see what it does. So I click Save and now notice how the size of the image changes based on the size of the screen that it's on. So this is great not that we endorse or condone students <laughs> um, taking our classes on their phones or electronic devices the smaller devices obviously computers fine but if and when they ever do if you want your um, course to look as good as possible even on a phone you can throw that little bit of code in there and, and make your image your banner image do some great things so quick way to dress up your course and that's this tutorial